news that tennis champion Novak Djokovic is in Australia and ready to compete at the Australian Open represents a return to sanity after way, way too many years of COVID madness. Now, you'll remember that Djokovic was ejected from the country because he was a threat, a threat to public order, and it was feared that he would stoke anti-vaccination sentiments. He essentially had a view on vaccines that the Australian government at the time did not like. A view that went against the establishment narrative. The government was essentially afraid that the sports legend might use his opinion to influence the rest of us. Shock horror. Now, apparently, the principle of bodily autonomy was and still is a dangerous opinion. Now, this is even more of a joke when you reflect on the fact that the nine-time Australian Open champion was kicked out of the country because of his vaccination status. But this year, that's right, this year, the Australian Open has confirmed that players who are COVID positive will be allowed to play. That's right, they will be allowed to play. Now, I still shake my head thinking about what these career politicians did to our country and our people under the guise of health. Freedom of association was destroyed by restrictions on movement. Freedom of speech was removed by a politicised police force worried about Facebook posts. Now, do you remember when a pregnant woman was arrested in her home. The right to work was strashed by stay-at-home orders and vaccine mandates. The dignity of the individual was forgotten as we were sorted by politicians into essential and non-essential buckets. The welfare of children was sacrificed sacrifice at the altar of COVID by school shutdowns and playground closures, even though they knew, they knew that COVID is essentially a non-event in healthy children. Now, the decision to allow Novak Djokovic back into the country, it represents a small step, a very small step in the right direction. I look forward to watching him step out on the court and I wish him the success that he deserves in the tournament.